Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, shoot that down, center, folks. Go, go. Down with you. <laughs> Come on, warriors of Wololo. Convert those units. Wololo. Well, that was a bloody disaster. Solution? Build more monks. Go, go, go. Wait, what? Did the bottom research heresy? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Hello and welcome to a grand tutorial on how to make a sound mod for Age of Empires 2. Definitive edition. Okay, 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 Merlin. I think that's fair enough. I think I'm gonna take it from here. But yeah, like Merlin was saying, the plan in this video is just to make a very basic sound mod, just to show you the main ideas and how to do it. And you can take this and go on with it, extend it, choose whatever sounds you want, choose whatever units you want to apply it on. In this video we're going to focus on changing the sounds of units, but you can also do it for taunts, for the music in the game, for effects, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, let's just get started. Oh yeah. So before we go into the editor and make the changes for our mod, we need to do some initial preparation. So as you can see, I have this wave folder here with the sounds that we want to use for this tutorial. And you need to take this, uh, like these files and convert them to a different format called WEM. Now I've already done this in advance with a program called WWISE. It's actually quite easy to do, but instead of doing it in this video, I'd rather post a link to a video showing you how to do this and then just continue on with it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not too difficult actually. And if you have MP3 files, I'd recommend that you use uh, like the program called Audacity and convert them into WAV files prior to converting them to WEM. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's continue with the actual modding. Now, for the next step, we need to open up the editor, and you can find this where you've installed the game. Now, to find it very easily, you could just go to Steam, and then right-click on your game, click Properties, and then go to Local Files, Browse Local Files, and that will take you straight to it. So, in here, go to Tools, Builds, and then click on this Advanced Genie Editor 3. Pretty cool name, eh? So just open that up, like so. All right, so there we go. Here we have the editor open. Now this may look a little bit different depending on where you've installed the game, but you definitely want to make sure that you have this data file reference, you have these strings, uh, like uh, referenced and ticked off as well, and you have this path down here ticked off as well. Of course, at the beginning of all of these paths are just going to vary depending on where you install the game. But yeah, once you fill this out, I think you can even do this if it's not already done by clicking on this Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition up here. Um, and yeah, so just open this up and here we are. And yeah, here we are in the editor and we can do all kinds of stuff in here as you can tell. So many cool things you can do. In this video we are just going to focus on the Units tab and the Sounds tab. Let's start with the Sounds tab. So, in order to get the sound files in, you need to add a sound group and then add the sound file here. So, this file name field here has to match exactly the sound that you want to actually like import and actually use. There is also one more thing and that is the placement of the actual file in your file system. Well, I'll get back to that at the end of this video. For now, just make sure that this name is also the same name as the file, uh, like wem file. All right, let's add another one and just write yeah instead, and there we go. So this is actually something we can reference when we go into the units and we can replace the sound with these. Let's do that now. Okay, so the next step is to go to the units tab and what I usually do to begin with is just use civilization and do it for this, but it should copy to everything. Like the changes that we make here, I was going to apply to Franks and Turks and Saracens and everything, as long as you have these checkboxes checked up here. Cool, so let's just go with Militia. You can also search for it up here. And then let's go down to Sounds, which is down here. So here we have it. So Sounds, Selection Sound, we want to choose the file that we just made. Uh, it's called empty here, that's because I didn't 
that one and delete. So now it's called the, uh, that just makes it a little bit more neat. And then we want to change the move sound to OK, basically. And as you can tell, this is very, very simple. I mean, you could use whatever sound you want. And yeah, that's it, basically. So, uh, so yeah, that's it for the militia. Let's try and change some more units. Okay, so now let's try and change the sound for the hand cannon here when you shoot with it. And this time we're going to do it a little bit differently. So instead of going to the unit and finding a field or shooting, I don't think there is one. So we're going to do this this way instead. Change the actual files that the game references rather than changing what we reference for the unit. So this should also work. And this also shows you a different way you can, you know, make a sound mod and change the unit sounds. So just delete these. Uh, we don't really want these. So just get rid of them and add your own. So we're going to write 50 cal. There we go. And that is it. File probability 100. That's fine. If you have more sounds that you could randomly choose between, let's say different gun sounds, like there are already three, uh, make sure that the file probability is, uh, you know, the sum of it is going to be 100. You can just click on this auto arts button and it will auto do it for you. Cool, so let's make the last change and that is to change the monk sound. Okay, so let's make the final change and navigate to 417 and found this convert sound here. So let's just delete those and do the same thing. Make sure you spell it correctly. I think that's it. Cool, and that's it. Now one very important thing is that how do you find these sounds because it's not really named very well. You could of course just go through them like until you find the right one but even so it's not really going to say a whole lot like the names are not really going to always make a lot of sense. Uh, what you can do is you can go to this spreadsheet right here and then just search for the sound you want. I'll put a link to this in the video description and this spreadsheet is made by the guy who made the audio modding guy that I also learned a lot from. Yeah, huge shout out to Steps for making that guide on Steam. It helped me out a lot and it might also help you, so be sure to check that out too if you want. Okay, so now we're ready to save the data file and just go ahead and click save in the top left and just go with the uh, default settings. But let me show you next where you want to save the file exactly. You need to have a specific folder structure for the mod to work. So let's take a look at that. All right, then you want to navigate to this file path right here, where the integer at the end is going to match your Steam ID. You want to go to Marts and Local, and in here you want to create a folder with the name of your Mart. You can see I already have quite a few just to test things out. So the name I gave the mod for this tutorial is Sound Mod Units Tutorial. So I created this folder, and just do the same. Go in here, and you want to create a folder within this old resources. And you want to create another folder called underscore common. And then you want to create two folders here called DAT for data and DRS for well where we're going to put the sounds. So in data, this is where you want to save your data file to. So when you're in the editor, when you want to save, this is the location where you want to save the data file. Okay. And DRS, in here you want to create another uh, folder sounds and in here you want to place all the sounds uh, like the wem files that we have you want to place them in here and that's it then you create the mod successfully and we can boot up the game and load the mod so let me show you how to do that all right i just booted up the game and let's create a standard game and then we can take a look at how to actually get this mod enabled so what you want to do is just go to data mod and then click on sound mod units tutorial that's what we call the mod just choose that and that's basically it so once you start the game you will have the mod enabled and yeah just to show you that it does work so let's just build a barracks create a militia yeah okay and as you can tell it does work so thanks for watching this video i hope it'll help you out and once again Huge shout out to Steps for making that guide on Steam, which I'll link down below in the video description as well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Okay.